Today is Thursday. It's January 21st in the year of our Lord 2010. Hope you are having a great, beautiful, wonderful day. Even though it is cloudy and nasty outside. Yesterday, man, it was really nice down here in Bulletin Land. When I left out of here yesterday afternoon, about 2 o'clock, it was 65 degrees, and uh, you can see the sunshine. There's a little chemtrails up there, but overall, the sun was shining. Went up uh, the highway, and by the time I got to House Springs, it was cloudy, foggy, real foggy, and about uh, 45. So some funky weather here in mid-Missouri, uh, eastern Missouri. I uh, hope you are enduring and not seeing the sunshine. The sun does need to shine. I, there's something about the sunshine. I love to see the sunshine. Um, before I got saved, I really was a dark and gloomy kind of guy. I preferred cloudy days. But once you know, I got saved, and Jesus came into my heart, and uh, I started reading the Bible. And you know what? I just look for the light. There was something about the light. I uh, certainly hope that you are uh, seeking the light and seeking uh, the Lord uh, of hosts who is soon to come. I encourage you to read your Bible. Get rid of the NIV Bible. Get yourself a King James Bible. It's hard to read at first, but it grows on you. Now, I'm bullet to make any look at another Bible. I'm a King James man only. And I've uh, been studying a lot about King James and uh, studying a lot about our uh, the charter which started this whole continent and uh, the Revolutionary War. And folks, I have to tell you that we're not free people here. We've been lied to. We are a deluded people. Land of the free, home of the brave. <laughs> no, land of the fee, home of the slave. Freedom slave, that is. One who thinks he is free. And, is far from free folks uh, everything we do in this country is taxed or licensed and uh, we are not at liberty by any means we are merely at license we are licensed friendly there's been a financial war we've all been captured I've went over this for the last three or four months pretty heavy and in this new bulletin which is posted on the website right now it is at the printers the world's finest printer, DNL Printing, Nathan and Ronnie, 636-464-8488 is their phone number for now. But that'll be changing because they're moving out of Imperial, moving back down to Festus to better serve you better and lower their prices. But uh, uh, the new print, new bulletin talks about the deception of what's going on, about how we are in a police state, uh, how the enemies of our freedom, we are our neighbors, they're elected officials, and they just hate America. Uh, you know, Jefferson County last April passed a 911 tax, which is going to cost the citizens of Jefferson County some $100 million over the next 10 years. But how they got this passed is uh, they hired a group called Forefront Organizing or Advertising or something, and the guy who runs that is no shit, excuse my language, an avowed communist. This man says that he's a commie. He loves communism. Uh, he's a union guy. And, you know, and I don't know how the commun communists got a hold of the unions, but uh, they have. And uh, the citizens of Jefferson County paid this firm over $250,000. And uh, the elected leaders of Jefferson County could have got this services done for about five grand. So, uh, man, we've got big problems. Egg Kemp's in on that. Sheriff Boyer's in on that. The whole 911 crowd. You think about this. When did this country really change, folks? 911. You know, the devil has got his pride problems. That's what got him kicked out of heaven. He sat above God's throne and wanted to sit in God's seat. He said, I will be like the Most High. I will ascend to heaven. I will exalt myself above the stars of the throne of God. I will be like the Most High. And you know what? So his pride is what got him in trouble. So his pride will always cause him to sign whatever he does. He wants you to know. He wants people who understand and realize to know. So, you know, you have him to think of what happened on September 11th of 2001. It was the greatest military failure ever in America because it was an inside job. Uh, no doubt about it, Dick Cheney should be arrested. George Bush should be arrested. Uh, Marvin Bush all those Bushes are Nazis. You know, if you go back and study your history out, they, they were helping Hitler out back in World War II. Uh, but this whole thing was an uh, inside job designed to bring about world government and destroy the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. And 
here you are ten years later just about and uh, or nine years later and we have exactly that you know, a police state in America the Constitution has been destroyed we knew you know the Constitution has been suspended I believe since March 1st or March 9th of 1933 you know, I've asked all my elected leaders and officials, and, and uh, you know what, no one's ever refuted me on that allegation, so it must be true. The bulletin man rule of no reply applies. When bulletin man accuses you of doing something, and uh, you, don't not, uh, you don't get back with the old bulletin man, you don't say anything to me, you don't pick up the phone and call and say, hey, that's not me, you are wrong, my friend, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you don't try to defend yourself, then you are guilty in my book. Now, if someone accuses me of doing something, I didn't do it, you know, you're going to be here for me. And uh, I'm going to do everything I can to, uh, to set you straight. Uh, when I accuse someone of being a murderer, like Brian Westfall, who I believe killed her or had something to do with the disappearance of Amanda Jones, and he doesn't get back with me, well, then I got to think that what I'm saying is correct. When I accuse, uh, you know, I mean, this one or that one of doing something, and they don't get back with me, then my goodness gracious, they must be guilty. Why would you not try to defend yourself? I mean, I'm not the... Yeah, I don't have a large audience by any means, but what I say and what I write is um, off the wall and controversial enough to people where people talk about it, and, and word of mouth advertising is indeed the best advertising. Um, steadily growing over the years, the, the web traffic's picking up, the uh, the YouTube counts are picking up, and... and uh, you know, we're trying to get our message out there that uh, you are being deceived, you are being lied to, and it is time that you wake up to the fact that uh, our enemy is within. You know, the, no, no country could have ever taken America from the outside, but they have taken it from within. Nikita Khrushchev said back in 1961, he took his shoe off at the UN and pounded it on the table and said, we'll take America and never fire a shot, and you will buy the rope that we hang you with. And uh, that is exactly what has happened. We have an avowed communist in the, uh, in the White House. Uh, the good sheriff of Jefferson County is uh, part of his true squad, uh, a supporter of his, and was going to go out and arrest people for for telling uh, for not telling the truth about Barack Obama. Well, here, Mr. Boyer, here's the truth about Barack Obama, your your beloved president, and the guy who you supported and, and who you uh, have uh, got behind 100 percent. He's a communist. I don't even believe he was born in America. The man cannot produce a birth certificate. And even if he was born in Hawaii, his mother was not of legal age uh, to uh, confer her citizenship rights upon him. So uh, her, his daddy being a British national still makes him a British national. He's an interloper. And he was in Arnold uh, at the beginning of his 100 days. And uh, you didn't arrest that man. That makes you a, a traitor as well, Sheriff Boyer. You're a communist as well. And you got your police state over there. You got your 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 uh, task force, your Jefferson County task force, running around with masks on and trying to hide their identities, wearing all black. You know, good guys wear uh, white, sheriff. They don't wear black. I guess they must be the real bad guys. Nine one one. Who are the real terrorists? Are you worried about Osama bin Laden pulling you over today, giving you a ticket? You know what? I ain't worried about Osama bin Laden. He's in a damn cave somewhere. Actually, he's probably been dead about the last ten years. But I'm more worried about a higher patrolman or a Franklin County Sheriff or a Jefferson County Sheriff or a St. Clair, Missouri policeman or a Sullivan, Missouri policeman or, or uh, uh, you know, I'm worried about those people pulling me over because I really believe they are the real terrorist. Now, you know what? I've been accused of a lot of cops of doing that over the years and not a one of them, not one has ever tried to... Uh, say otherwise. Now, I've talked to a lot of ex-cops who, who are no longer with the police force and see exactly what I'm talking about. You know, I love, um, I love it when people wake up and realize what's really going on in this country. You've been deluded. You've been lied to. Uh, man, we got big problems. But we love you, and uh, Jesus is soon to come. And You know, as always, I ask you to tell a friend about the one and only Bulletin Man, and I'm sure you'll do that. Um, I got good news for you in Crystal City. There is actually a mayor's race. I told you about the other day. Jack Jennifer is uh, filed for mayor, and, uh, and we'll be putting uh, Jack will be putting together his campaign to uh, inform uh, the citizens of Crystal City that there is a choice. And uh, Jim Kennedy, he did pay his property tax and paid his legal bill, supposedly. Someone delivered a $45,000 cashier's check down there to Crystal City City Hall. I don't believe it, but uh, that's nonetheless. 
So, uh, and I don't know about Pat Martin. Uh, I heard Pat Martin was uh, had a heart attack last week and was going to be getting heart surgery. Uh, let's pray for Pat Martin. I uh, pray that he uh, he pulled through that. And uh, Pat, you know, if you start praying the truth, then you wouldn't be having heart attacks. You realize that, don't you? I love you. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. And as always, tell a friend about the one and only Bulletin Man. The new bulletin is printed. It is uh, on the website and will be in your hot little hands on the streets of Jefferson County. Good Lord willing by the weekend. Have a great day. See you.